you know one thing about bike careers? Yeah. Pretty wild and crazy people. They do a good service and they're booting around all the time. No, no, it's you don't make enough money. It's 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 a lifestyle choice. I'd rather I'd rather do something else where I could make more money. It's a struggle. It's a struggle to do it, and uh, sometimes it's good to struggle. It's uh, like I enjoy the struggle and and. Uh, doing the math and figuring out you hey, have no money at the end of the month or trying to work this or that and that's like part of the struggle it's part of the deal it makes it kind of fun keeps you on edge keeps you alive keeps you young I mean, you don't feel like you know you really you're gonna go crazy like you do with the desk job you know was the coffee gonna fall over nothing's gonna happen in a cubicle can you please describe your job boring <laughs> Boring sometimes. <laughs> Anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> a lot about being a messenger is you get to go to pe where people work, you get to look around, and then you get to leave. They get to be stuck there. On a bicycle, you can go anywhere you want. You can go down the wrong way of the street, you can go down the sidewalk. You know, your chances of, and you're just, your mind is absolutely freed in the environment. You know, have some dude in a suit breathing down your neck. You just kind of feel, you feel kind of free and you feel kind of alive and awake. You get to ride your bike all fucking day! Uh, before I was a bike courier, I worked in a bank. Pretty dry, lots of fluorescent lights, pretty, you know, pretty boring, sitting around, kind of running out the clock. It's the fucking only job that I haven't been fired from. What other jobs have you done? Um, Donut salesman. Tishwoman. <laughs> Dishwashing. I'll cheers to that. Falling off face. a fucking cheers carpentry thing. Oh, when I first started curing, uh, I got the job on a Friday, hired by this seven foot tall man named Alan Slaughter. One week later, I was in the hospital. My husband and I know it's a dangerous thing to do, but we, Richard tells us not to worry. Yeah, she wants me to stay in the basement or something. And we don't really dwell on that or think about that. I hit a car going through a red light, and I let, ended up on the hood, and I had no helmet on, and uh, went to the hospital. I, I, I went through the fucking uh, passenger side window of the guy's fucking oh, van. Sorry. So you've got to know when you can take a spot and when you can leave it. and. And that's, that's the thing. Sometimes you, if you go over your head and you're riding over your head, that's when you can hurt yourself. Please be careful. Please be careful. Please be careful. Please be careful. I'm amazed I'm still alive. I think sometimes uh, anything being past 30 years old is bonus round. I know I'm in double bonus. There's no real, like, uh, stereotypical courier, right? I mean, everyone comes from somewhere else, and everybody has a different reason for doing it. Uh, if you haven't been a courier, I don't know if I can trust you. I don't know if you're willing to go through bullshit for nothing, that you're willing to, that you know I have, and, uh, and you're, there's a special bond in that. It doesn't mean you're some kind of, like, uh, yeah, antisocial, ne'er-do-well, or, uh, or, What's the word? Risk takers, hyphenated. Can't fit into normal society or just some kind of criminal. He is a very welcoming, supportive, friendly, open group of people. Oh, that's right, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Our song was that's right. Right. Maybe we're friends and 
and the life is, uh, it, it attracts a bunch of people, so uh, I don't know, there's something about it that, uh, that people enjoy. Um, nobody's a bike carrier by accident. It's unspoken, but that you've all got that thing in common that you, you're all there for a reason. You know, you've all kind of got that spark. little subculture and they uh, they have their own little biking events they have, they have races locally they have races nationally they have races internationally that's where you really see that there's an international culture that you meet friends make lifelong friends you know it, it's like being in a mini tour de france and you camp in the weeds and you drink all night and you party and you have make friends and you, those friends I will always have or at least they'll be in my mind That, that actually what you do, the journey of your life, you know, to use a cliche, but really what you do in your life is, is the doing is the important part. Why, why do a job you're miserable for that extra bit of money, you know? What are you going to buy? You're not going to buy happiness with all that extra money, you know, you're making from selling your whole life away. I've never met a courier, you know, who's just this, like, you know, broken person who's dead inside and is just trying to get through the day. A lot of messengers have a philosophy of uh, being pretty existentialist. They might not know, know it is that, uh, but uh, living for the now, uh, not, for, not living for tomorrow. You don't know when you're going to go. Um, that happens a lot with messengers. Uh, I've known a lot of people who are not here or anyone anymore. So, you know, why why give anything out for tomorrow? Why leave anything for tomorrow when you have to? When it all depends on right now. I guess that deep inside, you know it. It's a child for free spirits. <laughs>